Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to use Monday.com, a useful day-to-day -day management resource. Monday.com is a web and mobile work management platform that helps teams and organizations improve operational efficiency by tracking projects and workflows, visualizing data, and facilitating team collaboration. It has automation capabilities and it can be integrated with other work apps Monday.com is similar to Trello. Monday.com has an intuitive and simple to use interface so your teams can get started right away without any training or prior experience with collaboration or CRM tools. The sales of Monday.com CRM is a highly customizable customer relationship management platform and powerful sales tool that assists in the collection and nurturing of qualified leads all the way through the fulfillment process. Enter monday.com into Google. Following that, a home screen appears on the screen. Now press the get started button and enter your email address. You may also be able to directly assign with your Google account. I chose the second option because it is the simplest and fastest way to log into any website after selecting my email account proceed to the next screen where you can fill out your profile information you can get you can enter your full name and account name as well as check the box below and then click continue now a page will appear with the question what brings you here today there are a few options such as work personal school non-profits and so on I can select the first option which is work now after which you can describe your current role and proceed to the next page choose your team members and people who work for your company and then click continue now choose what you want to manage first I can proceed by selecting the design and creative options select another option and proceed to the next page now the home page will appear first and you can select or add your email address as well as invite your team after that enter whatever name you want for the project planning and then click next many options will appear now organize your team items now organize your items a group is convenient way to organize your items now enter the first item name and whatever you want to call your item here I can enter the logo design in the first item and the team design in the second item before clicking the start button. Finally, your website board is being created and a few seconds later, the main workspace, the main workspace page will appear on your screen. You can also change the name of your workspace here. Now I can change the title by designing and editing it by aims. Board description can also be added and displayed on the screen. By clicking the three dots, you can access the main table and see the share option. The timeline option includes modules such as add to my favorites, rename, duplicate, share, delete, and a set a default board. Views can also be added. Go to the new item button where you can add a new group of items and also import from Excel. Click the second option to drag or browse the file. Keep in mind that you can support CSV xlsx and xls files there are four steps in which you can drag an excel file into the workspace on the home page various options such as search person and filter are displayed when you remove the filter option you can add columns conditions and values we can also find new filters on the home page there are various group shows we can change the name of the group by week one. Now change the names of groups two and three. A new group can also be created. We can go to the main workspace option on the left side of the screen where we can search, add or browse workspace. Now there are two options on the left side of the screen, homepage, work management, notification. The next option will be the inbox. There is work, favorite, invite member, search, and help options. So the final option can store your profile information with options such as my profile, import data, workflows, developers, 
recycle bin archive, and so on. The main option on this list is workflow integration. Go to this option for automated workflow creation with integration and apps you already use. There are also numerous options on the left side of the screen. Scroll down the next, uh, scroll down the page to explore app and integration options as well as create different custom workflows. Here is the option to create a custom one. We can also search for items by industry such as CRM and marketing. Return to the home page. Again, click on profile and then on the first option of account, which is my profile. The main screen will appear where we can edit our profile picture, name and different titles, email location, birth day, and so on. After we have edited our personal information, we can go on to edit our working status, password, language and region, notifications and session history. Return to the work management option. You can also sort columns and create new sorts of sort option. Now let us return to the first week where we can add more items. I can enter voiceover in the third item when and when a logo design is completed, the update activity and file option will be displayed on the screen. You can now add a percent to it. There are a few statuses such as working on it, stock, done, and you can always change the status of any item. There is also the option for altering the date. You can choose a different date for each item. We can add a new column in the over group by clicking on the add or plus sign, which has the essentials and super useful options. We can include status, text, a drop down menu, a date, and so on. Simply scroll down the screen and enter another item in the second week. You can edit person, status, date, and add column just like you can week. This is a platform where we can add various groups with various items and easily manage and create item. Now at the top of the screen, there are options for board activity, last scene, and last view and update. The following options are inviting workflows and power-ups. As we are aware, Monday.com is a project management tool that assists teams in managing complex projects, streamlining workflows and collaborating with the user interface that resembles an Excel spreadsheet. It provides powerful features for planning and tracking daily work process. When we click on the option of add on the left side, we see different things like new board, new doc or document, new dashboard, choose from template, import data and so on. When we click on import data, we must also include Excel CSV, Google Sheets, Asana, Trello, and many other items. We can also make a new workspace by clicking on it. Enter whatever name you want for the workspace. You may also select a privacy option such as pen and close. Every team member can sign up for an account and then you can create workspaces. We can now search for anything in my work option as well as hide and customize the items. We have a page displayed on the screen after selecting the customize option. In it, we can search by name, position, email, and team. It also has a board, a status column, and date column. This is our today's tutorial in which we will learn about the fundamental and important features of monday.com. We can make different groups and things on it. Monday.com's competitors and alternatives are Smartsheet, Online Access to Microsoft Project, Write, Plan View, Clarizen, Project Created with Zoho, PPM Clarity, Workfront, Strategic Portfolio Management at ServiceNow. So that concludes our tutorial for today. Monday.com is probably the most adaptable tool available, a veritable Swiss Army knife for managers all over the world. Monday.com can be used to manage all of your projects, but it can also be used as a CRM to manage your ad campaigns, to track bugs, to manage customer projects, and to add and to manage video production. So that's it for the Monday.com resource management tutorial. I hope this video is useful for learning purpose. Thank you for watching. I say to myself, if you enjoyed the video, if you like this video, please click the link below. Alternatively, subscribe to the button. 
or press the notification button or please leave a comment if you have any questions about the videos please leave them in the comment section